Good morning, everyone. So we've just come to a place called Benajou to see what is one of the most famous attractions here in the Algarve. It's called the Benajou Caves. We're gonna try and rent a kayak here. We're hoping that it's open because it is a uh, January winter season and during COVID, but I think they are still operating. So we're just heading to the beach now and that's where we'll be able to rent the kayak. Breathing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is the beach area here, Benajil Beach. Actually, quite a nice beach. Didn't realize that there was a nice beach here in Benajil. So we rented the kayak right on the beach. There's a little stall there, and it's gonna be 30 euros for an hour, I think. And there's other stuff you can see. I'm not sure if we're gonna go there because we're with my parents, but um, yeah, we're gonna go to the main cave either way. So it turns out that my parents are coming. They didn't want to get on their kayak, but you can see that boat behind us. They're on the boat. I'm not sure how much it is, but I'll let you know. I think they're going to get there before us, Carol. <laughs> Probably, yeah. They're going to beat us to it. So it turns out it's way closer than we expected. So we just came from that beach and literally right around the corner is the cave here. We think this is it, Benajou Cave. So I think you can swim to it. I mean, it's super close, so you definitely can, but yeah, just too cold right now in January, the water. Anyway, let's head inside. Looks like we got it to ourselves. Water's beautiful around here, the color. Look at that. So you won't believe what happened. We was approaching the beach and the kayak capsized with both of us in it. So I think you went completely under, yeah. right? <laughs> Look at your hair, it's full of sand. You're full of sand. Yeah, and I'm freezing now. Yeah, Carol's freezing. And then the GoPro, her cell phone. Luckily we have this waterproof cover. That saved you, right? I hope so, I don't it, know. Yeah. It looks like it still works. Yeah. I can't believe that. We could have just swum here in the end. So I, I had to go in and get all the stuff off the floor, like the GoPro, the paddle as well was floating out. Nuts. And there's no sun in here, right? No. <laughs> anyway, so this is the epic Benagil cave. Absolutely massive. There's actually two arches, so we came in that one. The guys on the boat just told us to go out that way so we don't capsize but it really is huge in here. It's bigger than I expected. Yeah. If you go on the boat, I don't think you can get off. So you can only get off if you're in the kayak or if you swim here, but they're going checking other caves and beaches along the coast, I think. Yeah, the cave goes deeper. Oh, this sand is absolutely freezing. Ah, oh, check this, maybe a future sinkhole. <laughs> maybe Benajil will have two sinkholes in the future. The best cave we've been in by far. Yeah, it's so huge. Yeah, so we've been to loads of little caves along the coast, but we can definitely see why this one is the most famous one. It's the most impressive one we've seen. 
So we're heading out now before we get hypothermia. <laughs> I'm really freezing, like shivering. That's why we didn't want to swim here, because it's too cold. It's like nine degrees Celsius, the air temperature. So yeah, it's just not warm at all. And there isn't that much sun today either. We didn't think it would be this empty, right? No, we thought it would be, I don't know, some people. Yeah, a few, few people. people. is usually packed, very very packed from what we've seen in pictures, so it's unique. Yeah, you won't see it like this that often. Alright, well we got out safely. What a place though. Yeah, so even to the right side, there is another beach here that you can only get to from uh, water. So an empty beach, also some cool arches and caves here. There's also cool walkways at the top. You can actually see some people there. There's a group here, a few guys over there as well. I think people are looking at us and thinking that we are crazy. Yeah. Because it's cold. Yeah, they're all looking at us. <laughs> All right, time to head back, right? So we ended up going home for lunch and also because it was raining but we've come back to Benajil just to check out the cliffs that we could see before and also see the Benajil cave from above. From this part you can see Benajil beach completely empty now. I don't even think they have any tours going on. And the cave should be just around here I guess, the sinkhole. So I don't think I'll ever get tired of this mixture of colours. The shades of blue, orange and green that you see everywhere. Me? And you, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, so right now the tide is way higher, goes all the way around the arch down there. Checking it out also? Yeah, nice <laughs> color, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful color. The sun's not even hitting it, it gets wow. even better when the sun's yeah, hitting there. And over here is that other beach that we saw. Once again, loving the different colors. Like super dark blue here and then just that nice clear strip over there. And down here as well, there's actually a tiny beach in that cave. So if you just keep walking down that coast, there is a trail that goes all the way to Praia da Marinha, which is where we're going to go. We're in the car, so we're going to get the car there. But I think it's about 40, 50 minutes walk. Must be a beautiful walk. Have to do it one day. Before we head out to the next spot, just check out these ruins here. So Portugal has the most abandoned buildings I've ever seen anywhere. This looks like it must have been for animals or something. Maybe a, an old farmhouse. Oh, there's a date on it. Yeah. All right, 1904, a well. Oh, it's super deep, isn't it? Yeah, I guess this was like the the farmhouse maybe. Well. Yeah, no 
idea how old this might be. Maybe 1904 as well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you've got some stairs. Right, the family have left me. They're trying to leave me behind. This is the cat picnic area. Hello there. <laughs> so we've come to Praia da Marinha now. This actually shows the walk that I was talking about before. So we've just come to this one here and Ben Agil was there. So the walk actually goes all the way on until Praia de Vale Centianis. Big walk. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, a giant rock in the middle. Yeah, I think we're gonna walk over there. There's supposed to be some cool arches at the end. Yeah, we came for the beach, but I'm actually finding this like canyon looking part way more interesting, different. So I've come down a bit in the middle of it now. Loads of bizarre shapes. These are the arches that we wanted to check out. You can see the size of it. That's a dude over there walking. Oh no, that's my mom actually, not a dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's your mom. yeah that's my mom over there. I think this is called like elephant rock or something. Kind of looks like a elephant's head I guess and then you get an even better view of Praia da Marinha there really is an awesome beach I'd love to come here in the summer never-ending beaches <laughs> There's a reason that this is the cat hangout spot. It's because their little house is over here, their cat house. Check this out for the coolest cat crib in the Algarve. <laughs> the actual shape of the, their head. Oh, inside there's loads of cat food. I don't think there's any cats in there right now though. <laughs> How cool is that though? Yeah, cat protection thing, like we saw in Albufeira. Before I end this video, I just want to say a few things about the Benegil cave. So we had actually tried to go there two times before, but the conditions of the ocean weren't good to enter and they weren't renting out the kayaks and they also didn't have the boat trips. So that is something you have to take into account, especially in the winter. I think it's more of a problem 
uh, during this time because the conditions of the water are a lot rougher so yeah if you're trying to do it in the winter you got to check if the tide's low that's one of the main things to check and yeah if it's just very wavy and stuff like I said the, there will be no tours or rentals so that's just something you'll have to check so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did just drop a like as always to support us follow us on Instagram subscribe to this channel if you like to see more videos like this and we'll see you around Thank you.